recording on the National Weather Service, or this is the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It goes something like this. Be careful out there. There are a lot of jellyfish, and yes, they will stay. <laughs> Do not try this at home. There have been a huge amount of jellyfish out on the beach this year in South Carolina. Now, I've been going to this particular beach for years. My family has been going here for maybe over 30 years. And I don't remember a time where I've seen so many jellyfish. But in fact, the National Weather Service issued a warning for this particular area for the amount of jellyfish swarms that have been in the area. Now, the ones that we're seeing here, um, these are different species of jellies. We have our typical moon jellies, which are the ones that look like the ones that you sort of imagine when you think of jellyfish and then we have other ones like this one here that is a box jelly and I did a little bit of research to find out more about them and I'm going to tell you about them here. Now I'm pretty sure, I'm no jellyfish expert, um, but I think I have identified this particular species as Chiropsalmus quadrumanus. I don't even know if the pronunciation is right. Like, so yeah, that's why I'm hesitant to touch these ones because the, the inside is open up. Yeah, but is I think it, the outside is harmless. Alright, so what is the tent? What's in the tent that makes it? They have these special cells that are venomous. I don't know exactly. <laughs> but look at these ones. They've dried out. So these can be pretty toxic. The tentacles actually have special cells or special parts of their cells called nematocysts and these actually are used to capture prey but they're the part that can sting humans. So um, you can even touch a dead one of these like the ones that are washed up on the beach and still be stung so you have to watch out and you got to be careful. Now, most of the animals we know as jellyfish come from the phylum Nidaria, which is an invertebrate phylum um, in the animal kingdom. So these uh, animals are actually more closely related to coral than anything else, um, which is also in the Nidaria phylum. Now, there are lots of different types of jellyfish. Some people estimate like thousands and thousands of species um, in oceans all over the world. Um, and we're seeing here the moon jellies, which are the famous ones, um, but also some of these box jellies as well. And they all share some different characteristics. Um, we either have radial or biradial uh, symmetry. Um, we do have a multicellular body, um, but we don't have a lot of tissues. We have some organs in, of course, organelles, um, and the body has an internal cavity, um, and it actually has some sort of gastric or digestive system and a type of nervous system as well. Um, the reproduction is mostly sexual and we're also going to have several different stages of its life cycle, including a polyp and medusa stage. And these are all carnivorous animals that live in marine environments. Um, 